In this tutorial, we will go over how to drop classes and our refund policy. We will first go over how to drop classes using your Campus Solutions account. The procedure is very similar to adding classes. To drop your class, we will need to use your Campus Solutions account. The procedure is very similar to adding classes. Go to peralta.edu. Under Students, click the email slash canvas slash campus solutions to access your student portal. Log in with your Peralta email address and password. Once you are on your student portal dashboard, click the Campus Solutions tile. Click the Manage Classes tile. On your left hand panel, click Drop Classes and select the term. Check the box next to the class that you wish to drop and click Next on the top right of the screen. Review the class to make sure that this is the class you wish to drop and click Drop Classes on the top right. Click Yes to confirm. Great! You successfully dropped the class. Before you drop your classes, you should carefully review the drop policy in an academic calendar for the last day to drop a class. It's the student's responsibility to drop classes which you've decided not to take. In addition to making sure that you maintain your minimum 12 units, you must also consider the deadlines to drop the class and still get a refund. To review the refund policy, go to the peralta.edu, select Admissions and Records, and click Student Finance. Click the Drop Deadline and Refunds. Refund drop deadlines depend on the class start date and end dates. As you can see in this sample schedule, there are numerous states that have the same start date but have different end dates and different refund deadlines. You need to refer back to your class meeting dates to double check the start and end dates, and then match it on the schedule to look for the last day to drop and receive a refund. The top section that says regular session courses refer to semester classes. The lower section refers to short term or late start classes. If you drop a class before the refund drop deadline, the funds you've paid for will automatically be credited back to your campus solutions so that you can use it for another class or for an upcoming semester. You can view the transaction by logging into your Campus Solutions under the Manage Classes tab. If you need to request for a refund, you need to get approval from your DSO, then visit your college's cashier's office website to complete the request for a refund form. Depending on how busy the cashier's office is, it can take up to four to six weeks after the last day to add classes to process a refund. The funds will be sent back to your original form of payment, except for cash payments, which will be refunded as a check and mailed to you. It's important to know that the cashier's office require approval from the Office of International Education to issue refunds for international students, so please be sure to get in touch with us first. Thank you for watching How to Drop Classes and our Refund Policy.